day that will be. Amen. Amen. What a wonderful day that's going to be when we see Jesus. Amen. We spend all of eternity worshiping Him at His feet as He is worthy of our worship. Amen. Amen. What a day that's going to be. Amen. But thank God I can worship Him here also. Amen. Thank you, musicians. Man, I'll just go ahead and preach this morning. Man, if you have your Bibles, 1 Corinthians 10, verse number 13. A very common quote of Scripture, especially, amen, um, uh, in our church. I've quoted this verse, I don't know how many thousands of times. Amen. It's just, amen, come one of my, you know, very favorites. I've got a lot of my say it's my favorites, but, amen, you know, really the whole Bible is good, amen. So, uh, you know, but this is definitely one of the very favorites of my verses that I, I love. Amen. And uh, sec- uh, 1 Corinthians 10, verse number 13. Says, there hath no temptation taken you, but such is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. And if you had, uh, turn with me to Second uh, uh, Peter chapter two, verse number nine. Second Peter two and nine. Second Peter two verse number nine. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations, and to reserve the unjust unto the day of, of judgment, and to be punished. If you would just pray with me, Lord, I thank you for bringing us here. Lord, I ask you to anoint me to clay, God, for without your anointing I can do nothing. But by that anointing we know all things are possible, God. Speak as only you are able to do, God. Oh, God, deal with each and every heart here, Lord. Help us, God, to stand, Lord, in the midst of temptation, Lord. Help us to stand when the enemy comes in like a flood, Lord. Let that Spirit of God raise up a standard against it, Lord. We love you. We praise you. We ask it all in your name. We pray. Amen. You can be seated. Just going to amen yesterday evening as I was deer hunting, just sitting in a deer stand praying. Amen. What about what to preach tonight, uh, this morning? Amen. And uh, the Lord just started dealing with me about preaching escaping temptation. Amen. Talking about temptation. I want to be able to escape temptation. When the enemy comes in to destroy, the Bible said the devil cometh not but to steal, to, 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 to kill, to steal and to destroy. He came in to destroy our life. Does He come in always with a force? No. Sometimes He comes in subtle. A, a subtle. The Bible said the serpent, He was more subtle than anyone of the field. He enticed Eve and He tempted her and she gave in. Amen. I want to tell you, that devil, He's going to come in in any way necessary. If it's coming in by force or if it's coming in as the serpent come to Eve, He's going to come to destroy us. That's His goal. His goal is for us to give in to temptation. Amen. Amen. Is it a sin to be tempted? No. It is not a sin to be tempted. Some may may mistakenly think that we preach this. No, it's not a sin to give in to temptation. James uh, James 1.13 Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempted he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and when sin is uh, is is finished, bringeth forth death. Amen. I do believe, as it says in James, I believe it's when they are enticed and they're drawn away by their own lust is when sin is brought. Amen. Sure, every single Christian will be tempted. The Bible says count it all joy when you fall into divers temptations. We will be tempted. The text that I read to you, that I read often to you, there have no temptation taken you. But to such is common to man. It is common for us to be tempted. As a Christian, you're going to be tempted probably most of the time on a daily basis. You're going to be tempted with sin. But I'm going to tell you, you can escape that temptation. 
Amen. I'm going to tell you on a regular basis the devil comes at me, won't destroy me. Amen. Tempts me and tries to entice me. Amen. By the, by the wicked things of this world. Not only the wicked things of this world, but he tries to entice me on doing, uh, giving up on that. Amen. Which I know God has called me to do. But I, the Bible says, give no place to the devil. We are to give no place unto what the devil tells us. Just play the devil tells us that we should do the very opposite. That's right. Amen. If the devil tells me to quit pastoring, guess what? I need to buckle down. Amen. And uh, stay committed under what God has told me to do. Yeah. Till God tells me something different, that's what I must do. Right. Amen. So it said, but God is faithful who will not suffer us Suffer you to be tempted above that which you are able. He is faithful. He is faithful to help us through this. Amen. But will that temptation make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear? What is that way? That way is Jesus. He is that way of escape. If we keep our lives in Christ, Amen, we can escape temptation every single time. But this does the complete opposite. Amen. If we try to do things any other way, the Bible said if any man try to come any other way, he's a thief and a robber. If we try to do things any other way, but through Jesus, it is futile to do so, and we will give in to temptation. We will fall into temptation and fall into sin every single time. If we try to do it any other way but through Jesus Christ. Jesus is the way to, to, to come through, uh, make it through temptation. He has always been the way. Amen. To make it through temptation. We go to Him. We cry up and out unto Him. The Bible says we can boldly throw, approach the throne of grace in our time of trouble and find help in that time of need. Amen. We must trust in Him. Amen. The Bible says in Proverbs 3 and 5, let us trust in the Lord with with all thy heart and lean not to your own understanding. Amen. We must trust the Lord in through our temptation. If we'll just trust in Jesus and put our life and completely trust in Him as Lord and Savior of our lives. Amen. We will not fall into temptation. Yes. Yeah. If we keep our trust in Him, Amen. As I said, this complete opposite is trying to find another way. Well, if we lean to something, anything else, we will fall into yeah. temptation. He said, "Trust the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not to your own understanding." You try to overcome temptation any other way, but the way of Christ through Jesus Christ. I'm going to tell you, you're it's going to be a miserable failure if we try to do it in any other way but trusting. In in Christ, it will be a miserable failure. But if we keep our trust in Jesus, He will help us through it. Trusting in God's Word, Amen. Or how are we going to trust in God with unless we trust in His Word, Amen? I do believe and said, but if by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God, this King James Bible is every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. If I'm going to trust in Him, I'm going to have to trust in His Word. Proverbs thirty and five says, "Every word of God is uh, is pure. He He is a shield unto them." That put their trust in Him. Amen. Because the Word of God says so. He is that shield. We must put our faith and our trust in Him and His Word. If we do it any other way but the prescribed way in His Word, it is a miserable failure. Amen. I'm going to tell you, if I try to pastor a church any other way, amen, uh, and try to overcome that temptation to, to quit, the devil should the devil's going to tip me. I don't give no second thought to what the devil tells me. But if I start start thinking and try to fix it another way and say, well, I'll do it this way. Or I'll do it that way. Right. Besides what he said in his word, I'm going to give in to temptation and I'm not going to do what Jesus told me to do. Oh. Hey, man, if I try to live holy any other way, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be a miserable failure and I'm not going to do it and hey, do it right because I'm not doing it the way of his word. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Amen. So we can overcome temptation in this. 
if we'll trust in Him and His Word. Amen. By walking in the Spirit. I'm going to tell you, if you walk in the Spirit, Amen. Galatians 5.16, another one we read all the time. I've got a lot of verses that we quote all the time in this. But it says this, I say then, walk in the Spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. I'm going to tell you, if we stay walking continuously in His Spirit, Amen. We're not going to give in to temptation. If we completely trust in Him and be full of His Holy Ghost and walk by the Spirit and not by the flesh, we will make it unto the end. We will be of them that endure to the end that is saved in the end. Amen. Amen. We will be of them if we just stay walking in the Spirit. As I've talked about the contrary, the complete contrary is walking by our flesh. If we walk by our flesh, we do things the way we want to do it. Amen. I say, I'm going to fix it this way. That's why you see that the never 12 step program, amen, is a miserable failure. But amen. We must put our trust in Him and walk in His Spirit and that's how we're going to live free from sin. That's right. Amen. Of course, when people says, Amen, Brother Cole t- said it the other day. Oh, here a while back in Bible study, what Brother Charlie always said. People don't like people just says they can't live sin free. And they probably really can't because they're not walking in the spirit. But if we'll walk in the spirit, we can live completely free from sin through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. If we just stay in the spirit and not walk in the flesh. Amen. I want to walk. I want to live free from sin. Yeah. So if I just stay in the Spirit, I'm not going to live in sin. Amen. Amen. The Bible said to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. If we look at it with a carnal mind, we're going to fall into temptation every single time. But if we keep a spiritual mind, Amen, we will. But we will be able to overcome temptation through Jesus. Amen. That, that's only by walking in His Spirit. If we keep our mind under subjection to the Holy Ghost. Amen. Don't keep your mind under subjection to what everybody else says. Keep your mind under subjection yeah. to what the Spirit yeah. tells you. The Spirit tells me that the Bible says if He comes, He will not come speaking of Himself, but He will come testifying of Him. He will point you to Jesus Christ every single time and what it takes to walk perfect yeah. in His sight. Thank you, God. That's what I want to do. I want to walk in the Spirit and not by the flesh. Amen. I don't want to lean, as I said, to my own understanding. But I want to walk complete subjection to the Holy Ghost. Amen. Through prayer. Amen. Matthew 26, 41. Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The Spirit is indeed willing. Talking about the Spirit again. But the flesh is weak. The Spirit is willing. Amen. So we must walk in the Spirit. But it said, watch and pray that ye enter not in to temptation. We must watch and pray. Is that just kneeling down? And just kneeling down every day and just talking? Amen. Just to talk. No. That is touching Jesus calling out to Him with a sincere, broken, and a contrite spirit. If we call on Him with a broken and a contrite spirit, the Bible said He will not turn us away. Amen. I must call on Him with my whole heart. Without prayer, I will immediately fall into temptation. If I refuse to call upon Him, Amen, I'm going to fall into temptation every single time. Amen, as I said, it's not a sin to be tempted, but it's a sin to give in to that. What should we immediately do when we go and uh, when we are tempted? It is call upon the Lord. Amen. And I'll get to, we should take a call on our brother and our authority, and I'll get to that in a moment. But the first thing we should do is call upon the Lord. Call upon Him and He will help us in that time of trouble. Thank God God for that. I thank God He's made a way of escape for me. And that way of escape is Jesus. And how are we going to make it through that if we don't call upon Him? Amen. I want to call upon Him in that struggle. Amen. A love for Jesus 
Brother Nathaniel, I'm not, uh, amen, I've got the same verse here, but he preached it so well the other uh, on Sunday night. Amen, but I'm not trying to preach his message. But if we don't have a proper love for Jesus, we will give in to temptation. Amen, 1 John 5 and 3, for this is the love of God that we keep His commandments. Yeah. We must keep His commandments, and His commandments are not Grievous. His commandments to me are not grievous. I don't want to give in to temptation. Why? Because I love Him. I love Him. Therefore, I want to obey Him. I don't want to give in to temptation because I don't want to be displeasing unto Him. I don't want to give in to that because I love Jesus. Amen. If we love Jesus, we will not give in to that. We must keep our love for Jesus burning hot. Amen. Because of iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Amen. Because they let temptation speak to them and they let their love grow cold and they fall into sin. Amen. Jesus told that church in Ephesus, if you don't, amen, if you don't come back to your first love, I will remove thy candlestick. If you give in to temptation and don't come back to your first love, I'm going to remove it. Amen. Without real love for Jesus, we will fall into temptation every single time. His commandments will become grievous to us. It's going to become a burden for me to obey God if I don't love Him right. But if I love Him, it's not a burden for me. Does that, that doesn't mean the devil don't come and speak in my ear. The devil's going to come and speak in my ear telling me stuff. But hey man, if I obey God and resist the devil, he has to flee from me. Because I love him, I obey him. Hey man, the next thing is flee in youthful lust. Amen. I'm going to tell you, we, there's nothing wrong with running from temptation. Amen. Look at Joseph. Joseph, I believe a godly young man that did many great things that he stayed there and tried to, to, to try to what reason with that temptation. No, he ran yes. from that temptation. Yes. I want to tell you, flee that. To 2 Timothy 2.22 Flee also youthful lust, but follow righteousness, yes. faith, charity, peace with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. We must flee that you full us. We must run from it. If there's something that is enticing you, get rid of it. Yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, that is for something that is enticing me. That's not only to the young people. Any one of us can get wrapped up in youthful lust, in maturity. Amen. And let ourselves get in lust. If it's something that is causing me to lust, I don't want nothing to do with it. And we must not. Amen. Good Amen. Hey, and how are we going to flee you for us? Amen. Me and Brother Cole was talking about this. Amen. This morning. Amen. After Sunday school. Amen. He started talking to me and I said, I'm going to add that to my notes. By submitting to authority, we will flee youthful lust. Amen. To communicating with authority, we're going to flee youthful lust. Amen. There's nothing wrong with going to somebody and telling them, I'm being tempted with this. Will you pray with me? Amen. That's how you flee lust. If you will come to somebody and say, I'm fighting this. Will you help me through this? I'm running from it. I need your help. Amen. Hey man, there's nothing wrong with that. Amen. I'm thankful for people that will do such a thing. Amen. Say, I'm fighting with this. I'm, I'm trying to overcome this. Amen. How am I going to do this? If we just call upon authority first. Amen. Then your brothers and sisters. But especially your authority. Amen. Young people. Amen. Talk to your parents about your struggles. I was telling Brother Cole about Brother James Persinger. Amen. He told me something and that impressed me. That he, he, he when he was living with his parents... He'd go to them every day, talk about his struggles to them. Amen. I, 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 was tell, I just said that impressed me that he would do such a thing. His struggles throughout the day, how the devil was fighting him so his authority could help him get through that. Amen. Flee this. 
by, by going to somebody for help. There's never nothing wrong with going to somebody for help. Yes. Amen. It says, flee youthful lust, but follow righteousness and faith and charity and peace with them that call upon, uh, call on the, the, the Lord with a pure heart with them that do this. If you will do it and ask them for their help. The Bible tells us to bear ye one another's burdens. We must bear one another's burdens. And the last thing I want to tell you, there is a reward for them that will escape and overcome temptation. James 1 and 12, Blessed is the man that endures temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive a crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. The Bible also says, Blessed is he that shall endure to the end, for the same shall be saved. But in James here, this blessed is a man that endureth temptation. That endures through temptation. For he shall receive the head the crown of life which the Lord has promised to them that love him. He's going to receive a crown of life if we make it through a temptation. We endure and overcome temptation. We will receive that crown of life for an eternity. What a reward it is to endure that temptation for a man for them that love him. If we just love him and overcome temptation, we will receive receive the reward of heaven for an eternity. Amen. Let's stand to our feet. Let's come in these altars and just pray and seek God this morning.